Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about opening multiple apps in the Z1 Analyzer and uh, what you do after you've opened them, how you display those in traces, and how you can compare those to see which lap was the best and how you can improve looking at all those laps together. Uh, so remember, we have a new Discord channel. Please uh, join that. It's great for all sorts of information about the Z1 software or just sim racing in general. Uh, the link for that will be in the description below. So let's get started and talk about how you open those multiple apps in the Z1 Analyzer. So here we are in the Analyzer. I uh, don't have any laps open yet, but we're going to go uh, to the Open Lap dialog and select, select the ones we want to see. So uh, file, open lap. So this shows you uh, laps that you can open. Uh, and I've selected iRacing from the sim and then uh, Hockenheim as the track. Uh, the top section here shows me all the laps that I've driven uh, that are on my machine. And on the bottom here, these are laps from other drivers that you can download if you want to compare yourself to those laps. We're not going to talk about that in this video. We're just going to talk about loading our laps and uh, what we do to, uh, to look at those. So if you double click a lap like this, it will open that lap and you'll see it in the analyzer. Uh, but we want to open multiple laps. So I'm going to go back to that dialog. And you see here on the left, there's a little marker saying that this lap is actually open. So I'm going to open, say, lap uh, number 15 here, all the way down to lap uh, 6. So to do that, I hold the shift key down and click on the end and lap segment. And now all these laps are selected. You can also select laps if you want using the control key. So you just hold the control down and click on the individual laps that you want uh, to open. So I'm going to do the selection of a group. So I'm going to do lap 15 through lap 6. So I hold the shift key down and then I double click on 6 and it opens everything from 15 down through lap 6. So now I have uh, several laps open at once in the analyzer. Uh, and you can see here on the lap data screen, this shows me all the laps I have open. Uh, and I can expand this to see uh, more details. If you don't see the screen, uh, you can just go to display and then show lap data right here. Turn this on. So uh, in the lap data screen, uh, couple things uh, to know. Uh, there is what is considered to be the main lap, which is one here highlighted in, uh, in red. And let's just shrink this back down a bit. Uh, in the, the main lap is the one which is uh, the colored one in the uh, traces uh, and uh, elsewhere in the, in the analyzer. So if you look at any of these traces, you can see that there is like a yellow line here for the gear, a green line for the throttle, a red line for brake, and then there's various other gray lines behind it. So the main lap is the one which is um, uh, is is in the color for the the trace. So right now it's just 142.2. If I want to make it the 141.2 here, I would just click on that, and now that one is the main lap which is displayed. And you can see that the traces move slightly because things get rearranged based around your main lap. All these other ones, which are here just in white, these are secondary uh, and they're displayed, um, but they are not driving the, uh, the display of the traces. Okay, so with all these secondary laps here, you can determine uh, if you want to uh, show them or hide them. So you can do that individually by clicking on these check boxes here. So if you want to have some of them not being shown, every time you click one, it hides that one in the trace. Uh, the main lap has to be shown. You can't not show the main lap. Uh, so that is a checkbox, but it's deactivated at this time. Uh, you can also go to the laps and then choose here, show or hide all laps. So if I want to show all of them, I can choose that, or I can hide them all, and it hides everything but the main lap. And uh, if you decide that you have a lap open that you don't want to have open, you can uh, close it by double-clicking on the X on the lap that you want to uh, close. So say you want to get rid of this one, here's this one, 41.597, you can just uh, double click the uh, X and then that lap is deleted. So for these purposes, I'm going to show all my laps. So another thing you can do in the uh, lap data screen is you can sort the lap order. So you just click on, let's expand this a bit, uh, you click on the header you want to sort by, so I can sort by the lap number, uh, and then the little arrow here shows you the direction of the sort. Or you can sort by time, 
or a driver or car track sim etc um, for these purposes i'm just going to sort by time uh, let's go quickest to uh, slowest because that makes it easier for me to see uh, how i'm doing and the laps i want to look at so okay so we've uh, got things sorted how i want and uh, our main lap right now is this uh, 141.239 and uh, it's actually going to select the first one to make the main lap the fastest lap. So, uh, we have our laps open, and we have them displayed in various traces. And uh, now, if you click on a trace, you get a, uh, a cursor here saying what the value of the trace is. And you'll notice that there are two values. Uh, so, they're all quite similar here, uh, a 123, 123 for the speed, 100% throttle, 0% brake, things like that. So what this is showing you is the first number is the main lap, the 141.2, and the second number is the first available secondary lap. So that's whichever is first in this list as a secondary lap. So that's the 141.239 here. Let's, uh, if we say we select this guy as our um, main lap, which is the slowest one, we can actually see here in the speed that is different. There's 124 versus 123, just to give us an idea that these numbers aren't always the same and they do change based on the current lap selected. So you can also play back your laps in the analyzer uh, by going to the track map and clicking the play button, or you can go here and choose play lap um, from the lap menu. So we're gonna click the play button and uh, the lap starts to get played back from wherever we happen to be. So right now we're playing back based on time. You can also choose to play based on distance, uh, depending on what you're looking for. Um, so time is a good way to see how you are, uh, how the laps compare to each other and which one is gaining or losing. So as you can see on the track map, there's several different dots. Uh, it's a bit hard to see right now, but uh, as they go around, they'll move relative to each other based on which lap is ahead or behind. Over here in the lap data, you can see uh, the selected lap, the main one, this is the lap time for it. And then for all the other ones you have, whether you're ahead or behind of those laps. So if it's red, uh, that means you are behind that, those other laps. So right now we're behind all of them, which makes sense because we're the slowest lap. If it was green, uh, you'd actually be ahead of it. Uh, and then you can let this play out all the way to the end of the lap, which we suggest you do because you do get a lot of information to see, well, where in the lap um, are you gaining or losing a lot of time? It's quite a good visual way to do it. Uh, and much easier as sort of the first starting point to see where can you gain a lot of time. So I'm just going to pause this for the moment. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is um, analysis screens. So we're just going to look at two of them. In this case, we're going to look at the lap overview, which is this one. Uh, and this has a lot of information in it, uh, but it sets out in quite an easy way for you to see how your lap compares to, uh, so how the main lap that you've selected compares to the other laps in uh, the selection of laps you have opened. So right now, in the detail, here are our laps. Uh, it's sorted in the same way as you have in your lap data screen. Uh, and it gives you just the detail of you know, the time and the delta, um, the weather conditions, because that can be important. Uh, these are all from the same uh, uh, stint, so the weather is all the same. But you can see the delta of what, uh, how your lap that you select compares to the other ones. And then below it, you get a breakout uh, of the sectors um, for each lap time and an optimal lap time. So my best sectors were these green ones here. And if I put them all together, I would have got a 140.9 as opposed to my uh, 141.2. So there's, there is time to be had, and this is a good quick way to see um, what it is and where uh, you, can, you can look to get that time. And then if you scroll down, there's a lot of other information here. Um, about uh, driving line and uh, turn information and things like that. We're not going to get into that in this video. Uh, that's for another one, which we will do uh, at some point in the future. And uh, I'm sure if you subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the like button and all that wonderful stuff that YouTube allows you to do, you'll get notified as soon as that video is available. The next analysis screen is the driving line. So this one is really useful once you have lots of laps open because you can see what your consistency is around the track. Uh, and as we all know, consistency is king. That's what you've got to do. If you um, want to maximize your performance in a race, 
you want to be consistent because if let's look at these lap times here my best one is this uh, 141.2 uh, and my worst one is a 142.2 so basically a second in difference um, if I'm able to do my best lap every single lap and the race is 30 laps that's 30 seconds that's a lot of time and I don't really have to improve that much I just have to do my best all the time uh, so they can see that it's just being con uh, consistent uh, usually these time differences are based on small mistakes here and there or going a bit wide in the turn or whatever and if you can eliminate those then you'll gain a lot of time in the race and a good way to do that is to look at the uh, driver analysis I'm sorry the driving line analysis and see does your line differ um, because if it does that is a good place to start and say okay well what can I do to make it uh, not differ so I'm zooming in here on the track and start finishes here and this is the first turn so um, we have all these different lines and the red one is again the main lap and then you have all the blue ones which are the other lap times so um, we are just going to oops, sorry stop the, uh, the timing so then we can get our lap time display back here so I want to look at my best one so I'm going to choose that in the lap time so now you can see the red line this is my best lap so all these other laps here don't go anywhere near as wide as this one does uh, you know there's a curve out here so I'm using a lot of it so this is good so that's one note so I should go out and use the curb more and I can follow this down all the way to the next turn and see how am I doing here am I consistent and I'm pretty good here you know most of these lines are within this you know a few uh, feet half a car length of each other so that's good if you noticed one of them was way out here or way in here or you were just all over the place that would be uh, a, a sign to say okay I should look at this turn and try to be more consistent try to keep that same line all the time um, it's not going to be a single line because there's always going to be some variation but you do want to try to make it so that you are sort of like this you know you're within about half a car length uh, width of the same place every single time uh, and then if we go down all the way to here we can see down here in this turn there's quite a bit of difference um, there we all come in about the same but some of them go deeper some of them don't and you can click through the laps to see which ones it's like this one here is not that great uh, and my slowest lap was also very pretty you know pretty deep so this is a turn that you could work on you could say okay here I'm not as consistent as I could be I'm pretty good about three quarters of the time but sometimes I mess up and I go much deeper than I should so this is a good place to start at uh, and see how you're doing uh, and again you could probably gain a few tens here and that will help you throughout the race so it's double click to zoom back out um, so these are some ways that the uh, analyzer helps you when you can open multiple apps and sort of quickly look them over to see how you're doing and what you can improve on so thanks for watching I uh, hope this has been a useful video as always please subscribe to the channel like the video and make sure you check out our discord channel uh, it's got a lot of great information there uh, the link will be in the description below and we'll do more videos soon uh, so stay tuned